correct the question you are looking at on the screen happens to be a network question on link mechanism so i want to show you how to solve this problem and if you have not subscribed to, to this youtube channel you need to subscribe and then as i usually say you need to practice this work so when you practice you will know it and be able to do it on your own all right um don't forget to share my video with your friends who are technical drawing students and put on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified all right let's look at how this question can be solved as you can see the diagrams so we have let me read the instruction as written here that in the figure below oa is a crank is a crank arm of the mechanism turning about o draw the locus of point d situated on the link ab as crank oa 30 millimeters turns through one revolution in a clockwise direction so as you can see here oa as we are given is 30 millimeters distance between ad is 40 and distance between bd is 40 millimeters then point c point c this line this line the distance of this line of, 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 upon which we have point c from the center horizontal center line of the crank is 35 millimeters and distance bc is 80 millimeters those are the things that we are going to make use of to produce the locus of point d between which is between line a b okay now the first thing that you need to do is to draw the horizontal center line draw a horizontal center line okay then you draw a vertical center line So draw a vertical center line okay then OA is 30 millimeters so take a measurement of 30 millimeters with your compass 30 millimeters your ruler with a compass and draw a circle so draw a circle circle like this okay now divide the circle into 12 equal parts so divide the circle into 12 equal parts as i'm going to do it here divide into 12 equal parts Okay, so I divided it into 12 equal parts. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to look at what we have here. This is point A. So point A is at this point on the circle. Then we are told that it is moving, it is rotating in a clockwise direction. As you see this arrow, it is rotating in a clockwise direction. So what we have here, all right, so this is point A. So it is the starting point because it's on it that we have the rod rod a b so only that we have rod a b so it, this is starting point that's why i call it one two three four five and i've labeled to 12. so next thing that we are going to do here is that from point a we draw horizontal line to get point d and point b so draw horizontal line like this draw horizontal line so and take a measurement of 40 millimeters as ad is 40 millimeters and bd is 40 millimeters so this is 40 millimeters and then 
here we also have 40 millimeters so this is the first point d so this is point d and this is point b okay so this line we are going to make it a thick line we are going to make it a thick line so make it a thick line so the next thing is, is for us to locate point C, but as I've said, so this line upon which we have point C is 30 millimeters, 35 millimeters away from the horizontal center line of the crank of the circle. So this is the horizontal center line. So you take a measurement of 35 millimeters from the center, 35 millimeters down, this is 35, and draw horizontal line draw horizontal line like this okay so on this horizontal line as we know that BC is 80 millimeters so you take a measurement of 80 millimeters with your compass on your ruler 80 millimeters so this is it so put it at point B and make an arc on this line we can act on this line. So this is point C. So this is point C. Now this is point C. Then join BC together with a thick line. All right. So we have located point C. All right. The next thing that we are going to do is to move to point two and draw horizontal line from point two on the circle draw horizontal line then take a measurement of 40 millimeters take a measurement of 40 millimeters from here and 40 millimeters for point b so this is point d second point D this is the first and this is the second so with that 80 millimeters in your compass put it at this point and make an arc on this line so this is the next point C so you need to join this together so from this point so you join this together like this okay so next we draw horizontal line from point 3 draw horizontal line from point 3 then take a measurement of 40 millimeters from this point 3 and so this is the third point D then I need to extend this line a bit so with 80 millimeters on your compass Put it at this point this is the next point b so to get the next point c you make an arc here so then you join this together so join this together then from point four so we have, we have already drawn a line horizontal line from four so you take a measurement of 40 millimeters from here so this is 40 then to 80 to get point next point b so this is next point four uh, point sorry point d so take your compass put at this point and make an arc on this line so join this together so join this together with a straight line Okay, so next from point five, draw horizontal line like this. Then take a measurement of 40 millimeters from point five to get the next point D, then to get the next point before 80 millimeters. So this is point D now. Alright, so from this point, 
take your compass that 80 millimeters put it here and make an arc on this line so join this together with a straight line so this is a neco question is a neco question okay then next is from point C. so draw horizontal line like this so take a measurement of 40 millimeters so then locate point b 8c so this is the next point d so it's a compass so okay sorry so it's a compass so we have the next point c here so join this together with a straight line so i'm going to pause the video the same thing is what you are going to do for every other point you are going to do the same thing for every other point so i'm going to do that while i pause the video then when i'm done with that i come back after locating all the points and then we join the points together the use of a french curve or if not we we'll do something else so all right all the points have been generated these are the points these are the points all right so if you look at what we have here as i said that the next thing that we have to do after we have gotten all the points is to join them together with the use of our french corvette having looked at the arrangement of the point i observe that the points are well arranged and it's like this will give us a circle this will give us a circle when we join the point together it's going to form a circle now um I, I want to prove it i want to prove it as you know that this circle is 60 millimeters in diameter it's 60 meters in diameter that is the radius is 30 as we have done before so i would like to take the measurement of this point and this point this point and this point here this is on horizontal this is on the vertical so if i take the measurement of this point i found that this point these two points here they are 60 millimeters apart they are 60 millimeters apart then if i take the measurement of this point and this point i also find that they are also 60 millimeters apart so meaning that distance of this point from this point if you look at it these are also 60 millimeters apart so it means that this is going to form a circle so what i will just do is this i cannot use my uh, my french curve to join them together so it, it may not be it may not be it may not be okay or it may not be it may not be bring out the shape that i need it may not bring out the shape that i need so and also it will take time if i make use of my french curve it's going to take time so i'm going to use my compass so what i just need to do is to locate the midpoint of these two points that is the middle of these two points this is 60 so i'll just locate the midpoint so which is going to be 30 millimeters so from here so i'll take a measurement of 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters so this is the center so i'll just take my compass all right i'll take my compass put at this point and extend to this point I'll put at the center here and extend it to this point so this is it then i will turn it round turn it round like this all right so if you look at what we have here this is the shape so the it passed through all the points it passed through all the points are formed a circle so this is the locus of point d that we are asked to get in the question so it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice just follow the steps that i took in constructing this so practice practice and practice and don't forget to share this video with your friends who are technical drawing students tell them about this youtube channel in which technical drawing is being done in a raw form you see how i use the instrument to do the work this is not an animated work and this is uh is very very interesting so thank you and god bless you